Hello, and welcome back to Bit of Beige, and today we're going to play the Stanley Parable, because you guys have been asking me for it, and so now, here we are, ready to tango with Parable's narrator. This is a story about a man, a quite remarkable man, in that he is remarkably unremarkable. This is Jack, a creature that, of habit. This was his a bit different. Time, staring into this empty void, searching for meaning where there was none. Or okay, wait, 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 wait. This isn't right. This is not how Stanley Parable begins. Jack, I'm going to stop you there now. All right. The Jack Parable. Something, Something was very clearly wrong. Shocked, frozen, frozen solid, Jack, Jack found, found himself unable, unable to move, move for the, the longest, longest time. time. Oh, jeez. But as he came to his wits and regained his senses, he, he got, got up from, from his desk, desk and, and stepped, stepped out of his office. From, from here, here, the story is in our control. Okay, 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 wait, wait. Jack muttered to himself, uncertain about his whereabouts and what he was doing. Hey, 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 you, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. What happened to the other narrator? What'd you do? He shouted at the ceiling as if there would be some kind of answer. Little did he know he was alone. Okay, then, all right. I guess it's just you and me then? Realizing he was alone, Jack began to mutter to himself. Game? This got a lot weirder than I was expecting it to. He said brokenly to himself. Okay. All right. Jack oh. began to wander the halls looking for his co-workers, but found no one at all. This is not what I was expecting when I was playing this. This is way, way beyond what I remember the Stanley Parable to be like. Because I, I played this game before. I, I know what's going on. And, and Jack and, came upon a fork in the road. He decided to go through the left door. Yeah, this is the choice. This is the choice where, you know, you want me to go left, but most people like to go right. He said aloud, then promptly moved through the right door. So you want me to go right then? Jack had a really hard time deciding which way he wanted to go. Thinking was hard. I don't know which way I should go. Thinking was very, very hard. Oh, you, you're changing everything! The rules are all different! Fine, I'll go left. He decided, not realizing he was tricked by reverse psychology. You sneaky bugger! He shouted as he continued down the hall. Lying to me? He muttered to himself. It was at this point that Jack began to wonder if he was losing his marbles. Everyone was gone. But the question remained, why had they all vanished? Was it because Jack wasn't too intelligent? Was it because hey, he was hey, a moron? Hey, 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 who are you calling a moron? I am not a moron. No, I'm smarter than you. I, you, you. Jack said to himself, having a pissing contest. Yes, that that's a that's a contest. I'm I'm definitely smarter than you. You will you you can't you can't outsmart me. He said as he wandered down the hall. Oh, I'm going. I oh, you want me to go down the hall? Hmm. That looks way more inviting. Jack decided he would step into the broom closet to have a look. There! Ha! See? I'm not playing with your game. We're just gonna sit here. I'm just gonna relax. <clears throat> yep. Jack stood still as he did absolutely nothing. In fact, it was so boring that all of his viewers and subscribers decided to leave him and unsubscribe because, well... He was a very boring, what? boring YouTuber. By the time he woke up, everybody had been gone. Hey, that's playing dirty. Well, don't look at me. You're the one who decided oh. he would stay in the broom closet so everyone didn't have anything uh, to watch. But I, I, I... What's the matter? Worried? He's got a point. I do need to play for, you know, entertainment. This isn't going to work if I stay in the broom closet for eternity. Jack said to himself as his subscriber count plummeted to zero. Okay, fine. You win. You win. You win. All right, you win. You win. I I'll, I'll continue. I'll, I'll go. I'll go the way you want me to. Jack looked up and down the stairs. 
He decided he wanted to go up to his boss's room. I'll not go the way you want me to. How's that? We'll go down instead of up. Ha ha! See? I'm outwitting you. Look, there's even a vehicle here. And now I can continue absolutely not doing what you want me to do. Jack said. Little did he realize he was going mad. Why? Every time he thought he was talking to somebody. I've been here before. He slowly began to realize that he was. Are you? Absolutely bonkers. You're looping the levels, aren't me, aren't you? He muttered like a crazy man to himself. You douchebag! Come on! This is, this is not fair. This is completely and absolutely not fair. He muttered to himself, not realizing just Stop how. it! Insane he was becoming with so every what? step that he took. Just because I didn't go the way you wanted? Of course. What did you expect? You're going to make me go through the same stupid loop over and over and over again. See what happens when you don't listen to me? This is the sum of you your know, you're actions. A, you're a massive douchebag. You know that? Look here, buddy. I'm replacing the role of Stanley's original narrator. Do you think you appreciate that? Not even a little you bit. You can't trap me here forever. I will trap you here forever because you deserve it. Gonna find a way out. No, you won't. Not on my There's watch. Gotta be a way out here somewhere. Jack thought to himself as he wandered. One, two, B, four. He kept on continuing wandering the halls, thinking that eventually it would stop. Come on, narrator. Stop being a douchebag! You stop being a douchebag first! Okay, people are not going to sit here and watch me run around in circles for endless loops. Oh, I don't know about that, Jack. I oh. mean, everybody oh, I loves to see you be tortured. What'd you do now? Be careful. Jack began to realize that he was having hallucinations. In fact, he began to realize that he might even be dreaming or having a nightmare. Are you sticking me? It slowly but surely in a nightmare? began to dawn on him. Why are you messing with me, man? As Jack wandered around in the endless loop, his situation became more and more dire with every passing step. Come on, let me out of here! And the more he ran around in circles, the more mad he became. It was very unclear whether or not this was the cause of his retardization. Hey, 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 no name calling. That, that's not okay. Oh, I'm sorry. I perhaps should have used the word moron. I am not a moron. No. He shouted at himself. You're the, you're, I'm not a moron. You're, you're just an ass. You're, you're a butthead. You're an absolute butthead. He called himself, shouting to the air, not realizing he was... Hey! A moron. F*** you! He cussed. I... Are you bleeping me now? Of course I'm bleeping you. You gotta you censor uh, your language, don't sir. You are people watching. You stupid mother <laughs> You jack jerk loony. Jack fell unconscious. And even though it was only for a temporary spell, Jack began to realize that he was alone, when in reality, he was not. You see, all along, all the co-workers that he had thought had disappeared were actually there. And they watched as he picked himself back up off the floor and began to run around again, screaming at himself, shouting to the sky, Why don't you answer me? What are you doing to me? As if there was a voice speaking Narrator, to him inside his mind. You're a douchebag. Fraught with panic, he you raced this, past right? his co-workers, all of which looked at him with complete confusion as he wandered about mm. the building like a madman. Mm. Then eventually, eventually Jack found himself crawling out onto the street, crying, sobbing, cursing at the world, and dying from being too stupid to realize he was insane. Hey, hey, that's uncalled for. Why me, he whined. That's not good story. Why? That is not good storytelling. That is terrible storytelling. Are you serious? He said aloud and then promptly passed away. And that is the story of how Jack the Madman died on the street. Jack awoke right back where he started. Was it all a dream, he thought? Was it all a lie? You want me to play 
your stupid game. He couldn't believe his eyes. And you gotta just keep messing around with my reality? He shouted out to the sky. Well, joke's on you. Because all I have to do is hit the power button. Wait, 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 wait. Hey, hold on a second. Bye bye narrator. No, no, I'll no, no, no. You. Don't you dare Hopefully push that never. power button. Hey, ah. I'm not done with you yet. No, hold on. <laughs>